What the fuck is up, YouTube? Hello! Uoi Plays is back with more Banjo-Tooie. Indeed, we took a week off of recording. I went to Indy 500. Last time I went to Indy 500, saw 17 tits. This time, not a single tit. So, yeah, I guess that was a disappointment. Um, well... I mean, people are offended by everything right now. Ah, uh, yeah. So... Might have to wait a few decades for that to blow over. <laughs> Well, last time I went was four years ago. They had no problem pulling out tits then. It had tamed out. I got a lot of high fives driving around in a golf cart, though. Oh, that's nice. Just random people just stick their hand out. I'm like, hey, yeah, let's do it. And random chicks are asking for rides, and me and Jake are like, go fuck yourself. We have shit to do. <laughs> Drive around here and look at more stuff. Walk your happy ass to whatever stupid party. And the fucking campsite next to us had a dance floor with shitty techno music going the entire time with lights oh, and everything. Oh, God, what the fuck is this thing? We encountered that before. Did I? Well, something like this. Uh, the, the fucking evil Wanna just gringos. kill it? <laughs> uh, oh god. <laughs> he just slows down incredibly. Fucking I'm gonna get you, you- Come here! Oh, I'm gonna freeze you! He's gonna get tuckered out eventually. Oh god. Oh, that was terrifying. <laughs> now he has to watch as you set a grenade. <laughs> oh my god. Ooh. That was good. Well, fight over then. Banjo wins. Get Speaking of the shit on the whole, everyone is uh, offended by everything. Yeah, I was at uh, IKEA. I was getting a tour at uh, of IKEA from my friend because she was like, "You've never been to IKEA? Oh my god, you have to go." IKEA is weird. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was definitely something. It was interesting. So and who, who uh possibly got offended at IKEA. What did you do? Oh no, this this isn't like someone getting offended, but it's on that same topic of like things that people get offended by. Um but uh so we were walking to the bathroom and you know the guys on the left, girls on the right, and I was like, Aaron, if I if I identify as a girl, I'm just gonna go into the girls' bathroom with you. And she was like, Oh god, fuck off. <laughs> I mean that just really made me think, like if I identify as a Q-tip, can I just sit under the fucking bathroom uh, sink in a fucking drawer for well, the rest of my life? Realistically, you could do that anyway. It just wouldn't be very fun for you. Well, yeah, but like, <laughs> if someone were to open the drawer and just see this, like, just 20-something-year-old male sitting in there, they might be like, What the fuck is this? I'm a f- I am I'm confused and enraged and angry. It's alright, it's alright, I'm a Q-tip. And it's like, no, no I, dude, I identify as a Q-tip. Stick me in your ear, bro. <laughs> Dude, it very clearly says on the packaging not to put those in your ear, which makes me wonder, what, what do other what, people use them for? Yeah, I... I can't even... What? You ever look online, like, what's the best way to clean out your ears? It's like, just, it's like a fucking surgery, they suggest. It's like, you gotta get fucking, uh, hydrogen peroxide and pour it in your ear and then stick a cotton swab in there and wait a certain amount of time and you gotta move your head inside. Like, what the fuck? I'm just gonna shove a Q-tip in there. <laughs> you might blow out your eardrum. Well, I never have before and I've been doing it for 24 years, so I'll take that chance. Yeah, I, uh... And then your weird fucking concoction you want me to cook up in a lab. I've been shoving Q-tips in my ears. And probably other places. And I ain't got no problem. Yeah. My friend, actually, what did he say? Did he say something to me I earlier? I call him even speaking to you. Me, Ungo Bungo, you seem okay. I guess he likes you. Did I steal from you earlier? Oh. Sorry, not coming in wearing silly shoes. Get fucked. Huh. I'm just gonna jump in anger! Oh. Nope. Oh. Look at the size of that bone. Look at the size of that bone! The size of his you boner. Don't. Not listen. No one get in cave. Oh, I'll be back! back. <laughs> what the fuck? Wow, he has a fucking beard of steel. <laughs> the beard of steel! Jet fuel can't melt steel beards. <laughs> anyway. Unga, everyone knows jet fuel. No melt steel beard. <laughs> Me angry. Oh fuck. Conspiracy. Conspiracy ungas. So, Mr. Eric, how have you been the last two weeks? I haven't seen you. Uh, I've been pretty damn good. Have I'm you? Riding my fancy new moped around oh, everywhere. Yeah, the moped. Which also, by the way, I just calculated it the other day. I am getting 90 miles to the gallon. Wow. And I was like, holy shit, I was expecting, like, 60. 
That is beautiful shit. That's 30 fucking more. Yes, it is. It's a whole 50% more. Get away from me. Perfect landing. Oh, oh what the fuck? fuck? Oh, <laughs> okay, cool. Never mind. No big deal. NBD, bro. NDB. Uh, what is this? This is, uh, Wumba Chumbas, right? Yes. We must sacrifice the blood of an orphan. Or a globo. And she's gonna turn you into sure, a dinosaur. I'll just throw it in. I love my family! <laughs> <laughs> her eyes are terrifying. She just drills to the floor. Yeah, just, All of her magic potion just seeps into the ground. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Wumba Chumba. You are a weird T-Rex. Baby T-Rex. Use left you stick to call move. it that. This is what it is. He's really happy. It's similar to the Bumblebee from the last game. I don't have any attacks. You don't? No. Huh. Well, you can probably go in somewhere you're not supposed to go. What? Wow, a new dinosaur. What are you? A vicious T-Rex. Oh, specifically a vicious one. You're not that vicious. Don't even know how to roar Shut properly. Up, Stegosaurus. Do you? <laughs> we. It's one person. It's easy. Just tap X hey, for a go. short roar and hold X for a long one. Let's go roar with someone. Maybe you could scare people away? Oh, dude, don't <laughs> fuck with them. That hurt! I'm angry now! But unfortunately, I can't attack. Despite being a vicious T-Rex. Well, that's definitely a T-Rex. Hmm. I can only assume you can scare some of those cavemen aside now. Ooh, 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 ooh. I am just speculating, though. I am is speculate. What? I can climb on there. Wow, I didn't Wow, that is really impressive, actually. <laughs> I did not expect that. My work. feet are way bigger than this. Stop yelling at everything. There's not even anyone there. Oh, what the fuck was that up there? Come at me, bro! Oh, oh God, no! Work. Luckily, you're faster and can jump much higher. Yeah. Hmm, baby Stegosaurus. <laughs> <laughs> he gave- bah! Look at that bored look on its face. I'm so small and the girls laugh at me. Oh, I feel bad for him. You know, not every guy can put on a ton of muscle. Unrealistic body expectations are not something to take lightly. I feel slightly oh, I unwell. Slightly unwell. It must have been that caveman I ate. Or perhaps it was the pterodactyl dog. Okay, first off, stegosauruses do not eat meat. And second off, why would they be eating shit? <laughs> Waiting for that to get Maybe it was feces. Maybe you shouldn't eat it. I'll only talk to Banjo or Kazooie. How does he know who you are? I don't know. No, I guess he doesn't know who you are, but how does he know who Banjo and Kazooie are? Huh. Good that point. fucking guy. Who built these fucking things? Yeah, what dick? Let's walk into a goddamn dinosaur cave that apparently eats people, even though it's not supposed to, and just build an evil barn <laughs> that will attack Banjo, because why the fuck not? That thing's got some balls, just going after a fucking really T-Rex. Similar to the, the evil Jinjos. Yeah. Just like, I'M GONNA FUCK YOU, I'M GONNA FUCK YOU UP! It's like, bruh, I have grenades. The hell was that noise? You have a new text message tone? Uh, yes. You finally changed it from my girlfriend talking about the toilet seat? Uh, yes. OH GOD, HE'S NOT SCARED, BUT I AM! Because it, what's the point of the fucking roar? It doesn't seem to do anything. Yeah, I don't know, that's fucking stupid. Maybe you can scare- uh, who the fuck is that? Uh, oh, it's an arcade man. Beating his own skull in, because why wouldn't he? Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, well. Well, what? This episode is been so productive today. Well, we have a lot of episodes that have no productivity to them. So, Eric, what have you done for the last two weeks? Um, worked, rode my moped. That's about it. It's pretty sad Dude. when rode a moped is the most exciting thing you've done in 14 days. I've made a lot- I put a lot Scare of miles him. on there and uh- Scare him! Oh yeah, that's the one I couldn't get past, that's or right. try anyway. Nope, nothing. Wait. Oh, you didn't go shit. Ha, ha, ha. That feeble roar. Me not scared. Bite him in the cock. Then he'll be scared. He's fucking laughing at me! My self-esteem. Eric, I'm- I, I, my birthday happened a week ago. How old are you now? 24? Yeah. What'd you do? Nothing. Rode a moped? No, I did not. I would not ride a moped. Why? No, I'm just kidding. Why? Do you think they're gay? 
I was kidding. Do you think they're stupid? I was joking. Uh, what did you do? I'm, I'm literally- I'm not joking. I didn't do anything. Oh. <laughs> I, I had dinner with my girlfriend. That's what I did. You know, I think I remember her telling me about that in one of the, like, the eight times she fucking canceled on me. That doesn't surprise me. Oh, okay. Alrighty. Yeah, that was different. <laughs> um... Yeah, uh, birthdays, I mean, they just kind of have less meaning. Yeah, you know, you my sister, a lot of people do this, but my sister does it every single year, and she's finally become aware of what my response is going to be. She always, no matter what, is like, oh, so how does it feel to be 16? How does it feel to be 18? How does it feel to be 21? Like, the exact same as it felt yesterday, dip fuck. Like, I don't just wake up and now suddenly I feel completely different about my life. It I've would be a gradual up. change. So every single time she has, I always say shockingly similar to how it felt to be 20, you know, whatever it was last year. And, uh, yeah, and she's finally aware of that because she even made a joke about it herself this year. It's like, stop fucking asking me that. And pe my family's talking like, oh, 50 was hard for me. My mom's like, oh, when I turned 50. Or, oh, when I turned 24. That was, ooh, that was a, that was a moment for me. Like, why? 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 You know it's coming. You knew your birthday was gonna happen weeks ago. What, what you wake up and now suddenly, now I'm upset because I'm older. <laughs> it would be a gradual thing. There's not the moment people... <sighs> yeah, it's... The age is just a indicator that society has made just so we can keep track of it. It's, you're not fucking leveling up. Yeah, it's not like you changed overnight. You will change gradually. So why would a specific moment like that have such an effect on you? It'd be different if you, like, didn't know when your birthday was. Like, you woke up, you're like, Holy fuck, I'm 25 now? Then I can see, like, ugh. You know, but it's like, what the fuck? You knew you were gonna, your birthday was about to happen? What the fuck? Yeah. I'll never understand when people put so much effort into individual days. Another one is, like, opening gifts early for birthday or Christmas or whatever. Like, no, you can't open it early. You can't open all his gifts early. You'll never have anything open on his birthday. Who gives a piss? It's not about the day. You're you're celebrating that the person is, I don't know, alive. I, birthdays have always been odd to me. But, like, you're, celeb you're celebrating the person. Who gives a fuck what day it is? Just as long as the celebration is the important part. Yeah. Doesn't matter what day it lands on. You can't do it one day? Fuck it. Do it next week. After this, I'm going to be spending doing my birthday whatever with my sister because she was unavailable for my birthday and I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Sorry, tangent I wanted to go off on. Uh, yeah, I mean, if you think about it, you change more in between your birthdays than you do on your birthday. So... Wait. Can fuck yourself. Can T-Rex just breathe underwater now? Like, what the fuck is this? I guess. Like, there's no logical reason why this is happening. And why he sinks, I mean... Yeah, what the fuck is he, made of stone? He still breathes air... ...inflating his body with it. I'm starting to think this game isn't entirely realistic. Huh. You know? Me too. <laughs> ah, you fucked it up. Man, what in the fucking god-given shit do I do? You have precisely 20 seconds to figure it out before this episode ends. My god, this level is so aimless. Terry decked the land. That's not even clever. Well, the I think- The Eldest I think Terry is like the ruler of this. Oh, that'll do it. And it is- she is a Terry. Go yell at that Stegosaurus. No, I guess they don't care. Just talk to him. They interact with you. Stop walking into them! I mean, talk to him like hit B. They seem to interact with you differently. <laughs> oh, no, he's just literally telling you roars again. And it means nothing. Go die! Well, this has been fun. See you all tomorrow. Uh, yeah. Maybe I'll be better mentally prepared he for won't. shit. Blah, blah. Bye.